Hey, welcome to something a little different today. Um, I've been away on holiday, so I kind of had like a nice little break from everything. Um, but back at it, I missed streaming, I missed playing my cozy games. Um, so today I thought we could do something a little different. Obviously, we've been doing Fields of Mystery just so I can kind of like get into the rhythm of it get a little further in Fields of Mystery, and I said once we're like a little bit further done a little bit more things in Fields of Mystery, then we'll go and move on to something else and that's something else that I wanted to do was Traveller's Rest and it actually fell quite nicely um, that there was an update for Traveller's Rest yesterday I don't know if we'll be able to get to the update stuff because I don't know how like advanced that is um, to be starting off with so we'll see but I really love Traveller's Rest. I started playing it, I think I got it the day that they uh, like released it. Um, started playing it, it's a really cute cosy game of like running your own tavern and it just, yeah, gives me nice cosy vibes. It's a little like management game that I didn't realise. Um, we didn't really have anything like that as far as I'm aware. And it was something that actually I was like, yeah, this is what I want. A little cosy tavern management game. So, um, We'll be able to have a little dive into that, but I'm restarting it again for this, for the update. It's been so long since I've played it, so who knows what else they've changed in it, to be honest. Because it's been a little while since I've played it. So, hopefully, I'm going to get it loaded up. I didn't load it up beforehand because the game audio was playing and my brain couldn't remember how to work out the settings so that my Spotify could play and this wouldn't, so just gonna let it load up now i will be playing it with a controller as well because that's kind of what i'm used to um so yeah there we go i think it's playing so let's see let's do a little switcheroo there we go amazing i don't know if i'll need to move my cam up or down i'll have to have a look for this to see um just kind of where it lies to be honest um, okay, there we go. Are you gonna register? Fantastic. Oh, I did keep my little thing There we go. So that's how far I've got in the game At the moment is kind of day 20 year one month one haven't got too too far But I was starting to make some Rooms I think was where I'd got up to um, I was able to do that So that's where I got to but we will do a new one uh, do I want to skip the tutorial? No. I would like to still do the tutorial, please, because I've forgotten how to do everything. You hurry to finish your drink as another group of customers leaves the tavern. It seems the rest have gone as well, leaving you alone with your beer and the bill. After leaving a few silver coins on the table to pay for tonight's food and drink, you get uh, up, you get ready to get up and go, but a voice from behind you makes you stop. Oh, mysterious man. Pardon me, I couldn't help overhearing you speaking with your friends. You're completely right. King Cedric's death has been the greatest loss for the kingdom. A great man. Perhaps the best tavern keeper king of recent times. And a great friend. We were close, you know. Cedric often sought my impartial advice, and I, of course, was all too happy to give it to him. The man pulls his chair close and sits with you. I don't remember if all this was in it when I first started. I think it kind of like chucked you in and you were like, run a tavern, here's how to do it. <laughs> Waiter, a couple of nice full pints, please. Where was I? Oh, yes. Cedric, you see, Rila wasn't always the kingdom it is today. No, before him, there were others a long time ago. Yes, a very long time ago. Rilia? Rilia? Who knows? Not my stupid Legends brain. Legends tell of a Ooh. kingdom many years ago this is new. whose name has been lost to time. A place of prosperity and the good hearted, blessed with peace. From her throne, the queen watched the passing of the seasons as bountiful harvests graced her beloved subjects. But nothing last forever and the young queen soon fell gravely ill oh, no the kingdom's prosperity faded with its queen and not here long the throne sat empty for seven days and seven nights 
The people of the kingdom held a wick for her, with one question on everyone's lips. Who shall inherit the throne? Me. With That'd the be a plot disarray, twist. Nobles assembled their hosts, and war ravaged those bounteous lands. Long years of despair reigned, but amidst the darkness, a spark of hope ignited far away from that devastated city. Rygar was a tough, weathered man, owner of a humble tavern called Traveler's Rest. In desperation, hundreds flocked to Rygar, pleading for food and shelter. He responded by taking them in under his protection. Rygar and the others built and worked the land, and the humble tavern became the wealthiest in the kingdom. His followers founded the Fellowship of Tavern Keepers and departed to spread his teachings. Thanks to Rygar, the kingdom recovered its former glory. All because people wanted a pint. Rygar was named the Tavern Keeper King, and the city was called Rydia. In honor of the okay. man who had brought hope back again. Got it. On his deathbed, he told his disciples with a smile, only one who has served a thousand times can be worthy of being served. With him gone, the fellowship of tavern keepers decided who should be the next king peacefully, just as their leader would have wanted. Neither blood nor riches would ever rule over Rylia. Since then, the Tavern Keeper's King's legacy has lived on, keeping the kingdom strong and prosperous for centuries. Now, the castle's horns are blaring, and that can only mean one thing. New Tavern King? The Fellowship of Tavern Keepers has been summoned. The most oh, capable of the realm are preparing for what is to come. Who can surpass the rest of the members of the Fellowship for honor and glory? Damn, that definitely wasn't in it last time. Oh dear, I got a bit carried away there. I think I lost count of how many beers we've had. What, you think you can go up against the Fellowship? You're out of your mind. Those people are the elite. Their skills far surpass those of us common folk. So, your mind is set. You've got guts. To be honest, I've already given up. I've already given up, but I believe in you. Ever since we first met, I could sense you have something special in you. This is destiny. Turns out, I was just talking to the owner of a fabulous tavern very close to the city. If you really want it, it's yours. No dream is too big. The price? Well, keep in mind we're not talking about just any old establishment. The tavern is a total dump in comparison. How about a thousand gold coins? That's all your savings? No matter then. I knew deep down you will all talk. I'm sure I'll find someone else who will. All right, all right. I've got the deed right here. I just need your signature. Ooh, this is so cool and exciting. Slap. Done. Splendid. That was the best purchase you'll ever make. Though I should warn you about a couple things first. Of course he couldn't do that before I signed the contract. You see, on your journey, you'll encounter various... Are you feeling alright? You don't look too good, no dude, you've got double chins. Maybe you should rest. I think it's already very... Hey, hey, wake up! Sorry dude, I've had a few too many drinks. Oh, this is all cute and new as well. Whoa. Torek, just as promised, right before nightfall, old rock, Rockinats? <laughs> Still as hardy as a young cult. I'm just going to call him Rocky for short. Good old Rocky. Hey, we're here. You can get off the carriage now. Dude, yeah, I'm a bit drunk. You might have to boot me out into the rain. Yes! Okay, nice, nice, nice. I want to be a lady, please. Um, make me pasty white. Uh, I think maybe three. Have a little nose. Uh, 
let's have a cute little smiley mouth. Ooh, what hair. Oh, they're also cute. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for maybe that one. Or maybe that one. I think I like that one. Uh, I will change the colour to brown. I like shirt three. And I think we'll go for some trousers. Maybe trousers one. And we'll do some little boots. Um, I'll keep my name the same and I'll keep the tavern Traveller's Rest, I think. I'm no good at coming up with names for anything, so. There you are. I thought you'd fallen asleep. This is your stop, my friend. Honestly, I can't imagine what brings you to this godforsaken dump. What? You've bought the tavern? Have you lost your marb? I mean, on closer look, it does have a certain charm. Rustic, that's it. Nothing that can't be fixed with a good lick of paint. Or by setting it on fire. Well then, I'm afraid we must part ways now. I still have some business to attend in the city. I'm sure we'll meet again very soon. <gasps> there's a whole city in this now, I forgot. When I first played this, um, there was literally just this area with the tavern. There was no city, no nothing. There was just the tavern area and that was it. So that's exciting that there's now a city. Welcome to your new property. There's much you can do with your land, but for that we'd best to check the inside of the building. So move, left trigger to run. A and Y is to interact, inventory and menu. Okay. Got it. Good morning. We're contacting you regarding the non payment of the agreed quarterly amount due for the debit incurred after the purchase of your property. Please make the payment within 15 days or we will take the necessary steps to recover the sum owed. Please note that this, that should the situation continue, it's within the review of the Chamber of Commerce to proceed with the siege of assets. So this is all before we got here, so this will be the previous owner, I'm guessing. Uh, again, we contact you regarding the debt incurred with the acquisition of the property due to lack of response. You'll soon receive further communication. Our final decision it should be noted that you can still settle the outstanding payments along with the late payment fee to rectify the situation it's been determined in view of the occurred debt that the rileya chamber of commerce will proceed with the total seizure of the property during winter this year we'd like to em emphasize that they provide you numerous warnings guidance over the process but the decision in the face of your continued debation of our staff is completely final. Once this process has been initiated, only full settlement of the debt would allow you to retain ownership. Good morning, we're writing this letter to confirm the payment on your behalf of the full amount of 250 gold to the Chamber of Commerce's coffers, thus clearing all debts incurred after purchase of the property, leaving it now free of all debts. It only costs 250 to clear all the debts, damn. That was not a lot, but then again, I suppose I bought a whole tavern for a thousand, so... Yeah. Despite the disagreements in your case, we thank you for the registration of the payment and also confirmation the... Uh, also confirm the official transfer to its new owner. Please find and close the updated title deeds signed by your Secretary General. Nice. Look at this dump. Wow. This be one messy place. What was that? Okay, I might move my cam down just a smidge in a sec. This any spooky. Insolent mortal, who dares disturb my slumber? This place is forbidden. I won't allow some filthy looter to defile this tavern. Uh, I'm not a looter. Silence. Do not even try to deceive me. This tavern has stood for centuries and will remain that way. Just while we're in a little... um. Cut scene where I can pause for the second. Let me. Let me just juggle down. Ooh, ah, ah. There. That'll do. Okay. And flap. Oh, spooky. 
Leave now, trespasser. Actually, it's you who's on my property. What? I'm its new owner. Here's the deed. I can't believe it. That damn fool. Fine. Wait a moment. Here's a kitty friend. Oh, so cute. All right, Missy. You've clearly been tricked. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but this tavern has no future. Trust me, I've watched countless owners pass through its doors, each worse than the last. Why does my nose get so itchy when I stream? And it's always, like, right under my septum. Oh, wait, did I... I don't think I skipped any text. I don't think I missed any while itching. Unfortunately, my contract obliges me to serve its current owner. But believe me, we're not friends. And this isn't the beginning of a great adventure. Save us both some time and leave this place. You're a magic cat? How dare you? I'm Mai, the Bogart, the guardian of this tavern since before your great-great-grandparents were even born. I merely present in this form so your puny mortal mind can bear it. So he's like a little calcifer, but not. But that's beside the point. Have you listened to a word I've said? Yes. And, well, I'm not leaving. I like this tavern. Gods, what the hell is wrong with her? <clears throat> Listen, it's very late. If you head down the corridor, you'll find an old bed. You can spend the night here, but don't get too comfortable. I want you out at first light. Understood? If you have any questions, press, I'm assuming, up, that is. That way you can learn about your current objective without having to bother me further. Uh, yes, so up. Get... Ooh, new quest available. The first steps. Get into the bed in tavern. Um, this is my little quest log thing. So tavern, this all looks similar to what it was last time I played. Follow my instructions. Yeah, the skill tree looks about the same, but maybe I think more stuff. Um, what else did we have? Coming soon, coming soon. And then we've got the cooking bit. Ooh, that looks exciting. Okay. I really want to sweep. You sleeping bed room. Got it? Yes, I'm going. Off we go. Ooh, okay. This is a little different, I think. Not 100%. It feels different, but it might not be. Oh, I can make the bed. A nice made bed to go to sleep in. Tree, tree, tree shoots <laughs> sprout automatically. That's all I got to read. Uh, I'll make my bed, please. Yeah. yeah, this is a lot different. The tavern wasn't in this much disrepair when I first played it. So this is interesting. You're finally up. Listen, I'm sorry about last night, but I was being serious. As you can see, this tavern isn't what it was. I know it's disappointing, but I'm afraid the previous owner has swindled you. Now that you've had some more time to think it through, you really should leave already. I already told you, I'm not leaving. Well, good luck. I won't be helping you one bit. Even if you take the mop from the chest in the bedroom and clean the floor and tables, you'll never see me again. Take the mop from the chest, clean the table and mop away floor stains. Nice. Okay. Then... Uh, how do I... There. <laughs> don't know why that was so difficult. Where did I put it in my inventory? There. So I need to assign it to there. And now I have. So clean. Uh, sweep up this one as well. Sweep up this one. And we sweep this one. And clean the table. Clean. Scrub that table. Nice. Look at that. It seems you're not useless after all. Thank you for everything you've done, but a bit of mopping, cleaning, some dirty dishes won't fix this tavern. I distinctly remember you saying I'd never see you again. Insolent fiend. I'm only dying to appear to you because... Because... It's none of your business. 
The tavern being a bit cleaner doesn't mean that you're going to get any customers. For starters, you should move the benches next to the table. How do you expect people to come here if there isn't even any place to sit? So to serve customers, there needs to be available seating for them. Uh, for that, there needs to be a table with seating. So enter decoration mode by pressing left. Place the cursor over an item and pick it up by pressing A. You just have to drag it and then press A again. So, enter decorating mode. Um, I kind of want to move this a little bit more this way. And we'll take you and plop you there. I don't think that's too close, but we'll find out. And plop you there. Nice. Hmm. All right, that's somewhat better, but still rather dull, don't you think? Not that I care, but I found some decorations inside one of the boxes. Here, do what you want with them. Throw them in the bin for all the good it'll do. Nice. Oh, we got dying plant. <laughs> um, so, are these in my inventory? They are. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, this one? Do I have to move them up to here? Oh, I didn't want to do that. There. And then... Can I... Oh, there we go. I had to press X. Uh, I want to put this... I think above the fireplace if I can. Oh, the fireplace hides it. Mm, let's put it above this barrel then. Face. Uh, where do I want dead plant number one? Maybe down here? so it can't go up there so let's put one there and put one here by the door so it's nice when people come in and the really naff little centerpiece will plop right there there we go oh rather depressing don't you think this place looks like a crypt perhaps we could fix that with a bit of light I know, take these candles. If customers can't even see what they're eating, they'll get upset. Make sure there's always some source of light at their tables to keep them happy. Nice, okay, so we've got 10 candles. Consumable item, it sheds light. That was something I remember was, uh, you need to keep an eye on the candles and make sure they don't like burn out and you don't have none. Uh, ooh, style. Ooh, I like the three. Um, let's put you there. Just don't burn the centerpiece. It should be fine. That's better. Though I should warn you, the candles will gradually burn out entirely. Make sure you have enough to replace them when this happens, because I can't spend my life constantly handing you new candles. Well, I could, but I won't. Well, now, this looks splendid. Now it looks like a real tavern. What? If you dislike my old furniture that much, buy your own, why don't you? That's what you have. That is what you have for now, so deal with it. Wow, that sentence was hard in my brain. Anyway, the decor hardly matters now. Here's the key to the cellar. There should be some beer in the barrels below. You'll have to go fetch it if you want to serve. Oh, I should say I haven't been down there in a long time. If I were you, I'd bring them up in case you have to deal with any of those horrible rats. Pick up ten smelling... 10 foul smelling beers and clear the basement of rats. Yeah. Well, down we go. Uh, how do I. How do I. Oh, there. Oh, I smack him. Oh, yes. Come here, bitch. Oh, I got rat meat. Ew, I got rat meat. Oh. Ingredient. They say it tastes like chicken. Ew. I'm going to serve my customers rat meat. Uh, open. I will take all of the shitty beer. Thank you. You made quite a racket down there. Did you find the beer? Yes, and I got rid of the rats. What? You killed them? How could you? I was only kidding earlier. Gods. Poor Mr. Raticus just got married. <laughs> I'm 
just pulling your leg. Well, I'm sure we can make good use of all that rat meat. Have you seen the crafting room left of the bedroom? Meet you there. Oh no, we're gonna cook up the rats. Ew. Okay, see those two tables in front of you? The left one with the knives is the food prep table and the one with the frying pan is the oven. Some dishes require complex ingredients that you have to prepare at the food prep table first. But seeing as you seeing what you did with those rats, I'm not leaving you alone with a knife, so let's try something simpler first. What about some rat skewers? Could be as easy as approaching it and interacting with it to choose the recipe you wish to make. Don't let all the grease and grime put you off. That's what will really give your dishes some flavour. Oh, rat? I'm not sure. Hey, do you want to learn how to run a tavern or not? If you happen to be carrying some ribeye steaks in your pocket, now's the time to get them out. Alright, rat skewers coming up. That's what I like to hear. And try not to overdo them. I like my rat medium rare. Ew. This is a lot to take in at the moment. Oh, I don't know how to use this. There. Okay, rat skewer. Tasty. That's it. Nice and crisp on the outside and juicy on the inside. Let's go back to the dining room before they get cold. Okay, let's go. Okay, see that table left of the bar with the book on top? That's the tavern's menu. When you add new dishes to it, customers will order them to eat. Go on, approach the menu table and press A to add the rat skewers. Hurry up, my stomach is rumbling and Mr. Raticus has always looked delicious. Open. Uh, yes. And then if I press L3, there we go. Okay, I'm done. Oh, the keg is empty. I meant to talk. What are you doing just standing there? You don't mean to serve the rat skewers without a nice drink to wash them down. Any idea how thirsty rat meat can make you? Drinks must be added to one of two types of dispensers. From the taps at the bar, you can serve carbonated drinks like beers, while from the kegs in the wall, you can serve any kind of drink. It's pretty simple, even you should be able to remember it. Come on then, add the beers to one of the taps and we can get this party started. Okay, let's uh, add it to this one. go and because uh, you're stinky let's do it stinky brown <laughs> like well stinky that color there we go right looks like everything is finally ready give me a moment it's been a long time since i've done this <gasps> wow you're a person now what do you think i know right you should see your face looks like you're beginning to understand who you're dealing with here right and that's not all i just need to concentrate a bit and Done. Phew, that was harder than I thought. I hope I remember which one of us is the original. Anyway, where were we? Ah, right. As I was saying, customers don't just drop in any time they feel like it. For people to come to the tavern, the first thing you need to do is open. See that sign at the top left of the screen? You can press down to open and close the tavern when you want. That said, when you choose to close the tavern, first, last orders will be called. That means no new customers will arrive, and the ones that have already been served will leave once they've finished, and then the until the tavern closes on its own. Let's do a test. Open the tavern so your first customers can begin to arrive. Okay, let's open! Oh, your customers. Serve, serve, serve. I'm a little sad it's not actual customers. All my rat skewers for nothing. As people eat and drink in the tavern, the floor and tables may start getting dirty. When this happens, you have to clean them so your reputation among your customers doesn't decline. You may, at times, feel the urge to strangle them for making such a mess, but remember, that's not the kind of service we provide here, at least not for free. <laughs> What's this? Is there nothing to drink in this tavern? Bring out the beer. Oh, this is a lot of text. Unlike food, drinks can be ordered at the bar or from the tables. When you see an order, the drink they're asking for will appear with the colour label matching the dispenser where you have kept it. That makes things a lot easier. 
serve it, approach the corresponding dispenser and hold A to add it to your tray. Once you have it, use A with the customer at the bar or the table from where they've made the order to give it to them. In the action bar, you can see the drinks you've added to your tray. If you hold right bumper, you'll empty the tray and the drinks will automatically return to their dispensers where you can get them again. Oh, that's helpful. So they don't just kind of go in the bin if you mess up, which is nice. Um, I would like to clean this. Ooh, clean this first, please. Didn't mean to smack everybody. Okay, and... Or drink. So... Uh, okay, uh, pour a drink. <laughs> Serve. Yeah. How is it? Oh, is it tasty? Is it good? Can you taste the rat that I bashed with my thing? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna give your table a wipe. Thank you. Wish I could wipe this down. Another beer coming right up. Oh, that one's empty. Let's go! want a beer okay oh sorry there you go there's a beer uh serve and you want another beer there you go have a beer you want a skewer oh sometimes a customer will be dissatisfied with the service and begin to complain when this happens it's best to approach them and try to calm them with a give it a go and best of luck though knowing myself it might not be enough Uh, excuse me, can you calm down? Ah, uh, well, it looks like that didn't help much. Sometimes words aren't enough, so it's time for action. Select the mop and hit her with X to throw her out. Don't worry, I'll barely feel a thing. Be gone! Fuck off! Stop talking shit in my tavern. Ow, take it easy, that hurt. Well, now that angry customer's left, you can keep serving the rest. Yeesh, that smarts. So far, you've viewed some of the basic rundowns of the tavern, serve so food, drink, clean tables, floors, and deal with ready customers. Keep practicing for a while, and remember you can review information from the tutorial in the encyclopedia in the pause menu. Deplete my stock of foul-smelling beers. Can do. Uh, here we go. A skewer for you. Keg is empty. I think you can get water to serve in there from what I remember. Okay, okay, I'll pipe down. Thank you. Don't be so rude. Okay, we got three left. i just give your table a little clean there. Sorry, it's a little dirty. There we go. And we can serve one more drink. Who's going to be the lucky person? Who is it? We're going to be. It's going to be you. Congratulations. You get the last beer. I was going to say you get a prize, but I'm sorry. Have you seen the state of the tavern? You don't get any prize. Damn it. Leave. Okay, I think... Oh, this is the last one. Uh, so you get the prize. Oh, sorry. You who get the prize. <laughs> As I'm not even looking at the right person. What? No more beer. I was barely getting started. If you run out of stock, people will keep ordering food and drink. I can create magic gruel, which will feed your customers, but it tastes rather bland. I doubt you'll earn much money with it. Yes, it's a rather curious power. I learnt the spell on one of my trips to... Never mind that. The point is, the drink... With drinks, there's not much that can be done. If you have nothing in your taps or kegs, people will ask for glasses of water. I know, completely devoid of taste, but you humans seem to love it. Remember the empty bucket you picked up from the chest? Go outside and fill it at the well. Once it's full, add it to the keg so you can serve glasses of water to your customers. Uh, you got it. I gotta get the bucket first, though. Because I left it in my chest because I didn't know if you would teach me how to do this yet. Uh, splat. And, uh, let's put you there. Candles, you can go, like, at the end here. 
I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Serve, serve, serve. I down. Be gone, foul demon. Okay, I'll be back. Nobody, like, help yourself to free drinks or anything. Collect water. Nice. I now have a bucket of water. Who'd have thunk it? Oh no, it's dirty. Clean. Clean. Must clean. Uh, open. Add water. There we go. Uh, serve, serve. You want some butter? Have some water. You calm down. Okay, get the fuck out then. Leave, bitch. How many skewers do I have left? Six. Okay, I was like, surely I've run out of skewers by now. Uh, so, five glasses of water. I think this is glass number two. What can I get for you? Some tasty water? Yes, of course. It came straight from my stanky well outside that I don't know how long that water's been sat there for and if you should even drink it, but have it anyway. Oh, like yeah, you with how run down this tavern is, that well has not been kept very well. Puns aside. So ugh. Ugh, I'm so full. I'd say we're done for today. It's best if you close and we get some rest. I still have a few things to tend to. Although if you want to keep practicing, open the tavern again and I'll create more copies. But I recommend you go to bed. Tomorrow a tough day awaits. Rest well. Uh no, we will close the tavern. Last orders, please. Yes, I am right here literally doing it now. So maybe buy with the broom. I will do it. I will not hesitate to slap a hoe. Nice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Okay, and now we go to bed. Tree shoots automatically, sprout automatically, and that's again, that's as far as I got because my brain couldn't read. It couldn't do it. Good morning, rise and shine, sleepyhead. Come on, we've got a long day ahead. If you want to open the tavern, there's a lot of things we need to prepare. Things to prepare? What things? Look, I admit those rat skewers weren't half bad, but you surely don't expect to attract much of a clientele with rat meat and spoiled beer, right? I've pulled some strings in the city, so for now I need you to take the shopping list and collect some provisions. <gasps> We're going to the city! Exciting! I'm broke. <laughs> I know, I've used some savings to pay for it all. When you speak to the vendors, they'll give you what I've ordered without asking you for any money. Don't get used to it though, I'm not handing you gold every time you need it, you hear me? Yes, understood. Good. Follow the road towards the west and pick up everything on the list. You'll find a lot of it at the market, but you'll also have to get some supplies from the sawmill, the forge and the city's own tavern. Time to get going. Once you have it all, come back here and get to work. Right, okay. Visit Rani and Leah at the market, visit Chuck at the market, visit Agatha. Visit Amos at the tavern, Petra at the blacksmith's, and Woody at the sawmill. Of course he was called Woody. Always forgot, be careful with Rye and Leah. They're good people, but a bit strange. Don't let them talk your head off. Okay, should I be very worried by this? Who knows? To the city! Oh, this is exciting because we couldn't go this way before. <gasps> Wow. Oh. Okay, so there's the tavern, there's the sawmill. Kujakai. Sorry, Kujaku, Lion Rani, Agatha, Chuck, and Petra and Holmond. So let's head this way first. Hi. This oh no, tavern's here. Oh, 
The bee is lukewarm. Sorry, do we know each other or do you just go up to random strangers at a bar to talk with them? Uh, in video games, I do. He is passed out. Oh, look at that bear. Wow, there's so many things. Sorry, I'm so distracted because I'm like, look at all these things that I couldn't see before. This is amazing. So much stuff. Get some real funny types around here. The oddest thing is that they'll sit at the bar and talk with Amos, then leave after a few minutes. But it's none of my business. As long as we can continue to drink here, I really don't care. You're doing up the old tavern? Bah! I'm sure you'll turn it into some fancy place with expensive drinks and extravagant meals in tiny portions. Youth nowadays and their fads. A bard. I go into music for the revelry and the ladies to see how it turned out for me. Not all that glitters is gold, huh? Hi, you Amos. Oh, look at this little character picture. Ah, it's you. Right, yes. Welcome to the last swig. The best tavern in... Bah, you can guess the rest. Are you okay? Me, yes, of course. You don't seem too happy. What do you mean? I'm beside myself with joy. Sorry, I should be... What do you mean? I'm beside myself with joy. Isn't this the face of a man who has it all? Well, you were here for an order, right? Here you are. If you need anything else to be a tavern, come by. Or not. I don't much care. I understand. You sell supplies to the competition? Meh. Money is money. I have a whole bunch of furniture and workstations gathering dust in the attic. For a fair price, they're all yours. In any case, I wouldn't get too excited. That tavern of yours has passed through many hands, but it always ends up the same way. If you want a piece of advice from an old hand, just quit while you can. The lower you set your expectations, the less painful the fall. But it's all up to you. What the hell are you two doing over there on that table? Uh, thanks, I guess. Don't mention it. The time of dreams and great tavern keepers is over. The fellowship controls all the biggest establishments in the realm, leaving the rest of us poor sods to settle for the leftovers. Well, good luck. You're going to need it. Remember that if you ever need more ingredients, we're right here every day, year after year. Nice. The bear? I bought it at a flea market years ago. I heard it had once terrorised an entire village until two bearded adventurers hunted it down. Sounds like some kind of cock and bull story to inflate its price. Uh, what do you have? So we've got some barrels, some shelves. Ooh, that looks like a cosy bed. Chest, tablecloths. Yeast, malting machines, oven, press, small bench. Why? Distillery, reception desk, a cheesery. We can make cheese cocktails. Wow. I feel a little overwhelmed with everything, but. I'm sure it will come to us in the end. Um, so what did he give me? So he gave me some lager yeast, he gave me some candles up there, he gave me another table and two benches. Let me turn that down just a smidge because I turned it up for myself and now it's too loud. Okay, and I think the sawmill was this way. I can't really talk to anyone else but Wow. Uh, now, Woody always has the orders as an excuse to leave the hardest work to me. Not that I mind, but this body can't keep going like this, you know? Still wouldn't mind if he were the one to bust his hump every now and then. Oh, so cool. Who are you? Hello. I haven't been at the workshop for long, but the others treat me like I'm family. They're all great artisans, so I can't let this opportunity go to waste. And then you must be Woody. Hello, welcome to our workshop. What do you need? Have you come for tools? Blueprints? I'm sure we can help you, although we're pretty swamped right now. <laughs> Hold on, you're the new owner of the tavern outside the city, right? You're a brave, brave woman. I've passed by a couple of times and that place is falling apart. But don't let that stop you. It's just like you. 
Oh, I'm just like you, sorry. Where others see nothing but a wreck, I see a canvas to work on. I'm rooting for you. Oh, sorry. I'm Woody, the head carpenter. Since Old Oak retired, I'm the one in charge of keeping all this afloat. Do you also have to have wood-related names in order to run the, wood the sawmill? Ooh, stone sawmill workbench. Well, enough chick chat. You're here to pick up an order, aren't you? Your friend was here yesterday. She was a bit odd, but really convincing. I've got everything you asked for, though of course they wouldn't do you any good if you don't know what to do with them. Carpentry is not easy, but it can be incredibly rewarding once you get the hang of it. If you need advice, new machines made, or an old, the odd blueprint, I'm your man. Drop by the shop anytime and I'll lend your hand. Don't thank me. I'll help you now and you can help me another day. People like us must support each other. Board by board and nail by nail. I'm sure the old tavern will be good as new in no time. Thanks. Winnie's been making great progress. I try not to praise her too much so it doesn't go to her head. But she has a lot of potential. She nails it every time. So... Whole mortar pestle. Stock piles of things. Okay. Ah, oh, that's cute. A little work zone poster. Windows, a decorative shield. It's pretty cool. Can I have anything for that? No. Okay. So I'm guessing we have to head back and then we can't like take any shortcuts I'm guessing uh, yeah oh, okay I've just got to head up into the main bit and then it's pretty self-explanatory from there all of these people mm -hmm. only one who has served a thousand times can be worthy of being served oh is this the statue of the dude You children look creepy as all hell. Look at that one's face. Oh my god, there, I need to talk to them. <laughs> look, Rhea, we have customers. I think it's not just any customer, Rhea. She must be my new little mouse. What's the kitty up to now? Tiki? One mischievous kitty. Look at her, the poor thing. Doesn't even know why she's here. Yeah, she's scared stiff. If you're a good little mouse, you've got nothing to be afraid of. Right, Leah? Of course not. We help good mice. But the bad ones... You're scaring her, Leah. Remember what Mai said. You know how sharp kitty claws are. How boring. Mai's the only one who can play. What in the, what in the world are you talking about? See, Rhea, she, does, she wants to know. Now she's curious. But she shouldn't ask because curiosity killed the cat. I'd better leave. Oh my, what a proud little mouse. Look, Leah, she wants to leave without saying goodbye to us. She can't leave. Mai told us to give her the order. Here, little mouse, it's for you. You can visit us anytime. A friend of the kitty is a friend of Briar and me. Of course, where else would the little mice get plants and seeds? Only bad mice would get them from the competition. Isn't that right, Leah? She wouldn't do that to us, Rhea. Would she? Uh, no. Told you, she's a good little mouse. You need anything else from us, talk to me or my sister. After all those years, we're experts. Okay, nice. So they gave me a shovel, a hoe, a scythe and an axe. And we got an olive sprite. We got some wheat, some hops, some wheat grains red tea seeds and bitter hops and then what did the dude give us sawmill a workbench stump with axe and a stone working station Ooh. hi there could you cool smell that that's the sea everything before you was fished in the traditional way i may be old but these two ha huh, well this hand and this hook still know their way around a rod. Believe it or not, even an old sea dog like me needs some help from time to time. Luckily, my daughter Hickory was inherited has inherited my passion for fishing. Or is it Hikari? She often takes care of it while I manage the shop. 
but don't worry about that. I know exactly why you're here. I recognised you as soon as I saw you arrive to market, wandering around like a little sardine. So, the tavern on the outskirts, eh? Oh, you lucky lady. The world belongs to you, young people. Watching you chase your dreams makes me so nostalgic. I'm sure our paths will cross often from now on. No one can escape the chaotic and unpredictable swell of the sea. Browse to your heart's content. Our fish will delight even your most demanding customers. If anyone can bring that heaven back to life, it's you. I can see it in your eyes. Even the strongest hurricane can't overcome a determined navigator. Ah, if you see my little hackery, don't hesitate to chat with her. She's always been such a cheerful and wholesome young lady, but lately she's lost her way. I've been trying to help her, but I'm sad to say this old man's more skilled at dealing with fish than his own daughter. Perhaps she'll be more willing to open up to someone her own age. Loneliness can be a refuge, but if it becomes a habit, it can become a prison for the spirit. I learned that the hard way, and I'm still paying the price for it. Damn, dude, that got deep. Okay, so... Is there anyone else here? So, no. Okay, nobody else this side. Can I go up here? Ooh. It just looks so, like, nice, this game, visually. Like, everything just looks really pretty, which I love. Um, okay, and... Just go across. Uh, hello! Oh, God. Well, what comes next? Oh, yeah, welcome to Otto and Sons Butcher Shop. The best cuts of meat in the city at the best price. My name's Chuck. My dad recently put me in charge of the business and I'm still getting the hang of it. It's been a bit hard, but I'm going to show him I can handle it. Sorry, I'm getting off track. What can I do for you? I think it's the first time I've seen you at the shop. Would you like to try our veal cutlets? They're finger licking good. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. What are you on about, man? I think you have an order for me? An order? Ah, wait a second. I must have written it down here somewhere. Oh no, where did I put my notebook? Ah, here it is. Okay. Yes, I see. I have it ready in order in my name. Already paid for. Yes, that's it. Here you go. You're getting a premium selection. The meat is so tender that it will melt your mouth no matter how you prepare it. Whether it's stewed, grilled, braised or... This is making me hungry. Do you think my dad will get angry if I take a short lunch break? Ah, dude. I'm always hungry so I feel you. Don't worry, my pot's come snake free. So, who have we got? We've got Agatha, and then we've just got Petra at the blacksmiths. Welcome, let me guess, that determined look, that poise, no doubt you're the new owner of the tavern outside the city. Poor thing, buying that rundown dump must be out of her mind. It's certainly a bold acquisition. The tavern has been closed for years, but I'm sure with my help and a fine touch here and there, soon business will be booming. As for my income, this lady will need to buy everything new. But where are my manners? I'm Agatha, the most famous decorator in the whole city. My furniture and items adorn the most extravagant homes and businesses in the realm. If what you need is good taste, you're in the right place. What do you say? May I interest you in a pair of sculptures? How about some elegant contemporary paintings to liven up the place? Or perhaps something more practical? Some tables and chairs to increase your tavern's capacity? Uh, the truth is I have no money. <laughs> you don't have money? What are you wasting my time for? I have customers to attend to. Very important ones. I've come to pick up an order. Ah, you should have led with that. You know I'm here to help. Let's see, an order in the name of my, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I see some coasters, a rug, and three candle holders. God save me, what a paltry order. Here you go, I suppose. You've got to start somewhere, but I assure you won't get very far if you only buy the most basic items. Customers need to be wowed. The more you decorate your establishment, the more satisfied your customers will be. Don't forget it. I have everything you need. Just come to my stall and ask about my wares. You better not come back with empty pockets. Thanks. Okay, so we just need... Oh, she's so cute! Yes. I want to marry her. But, okay, I think the blacksmith was down here. Here we are. Good 
day. I think... Ooh. <laughs> he just freaked out a little bit then. I think this is the first time I've seen you round these parts, right? Of course I'm right. I never forget a face. I'm Holmond. I know a funny name for a funny man. What brings you to our forge? Just, just having a look or have you come to pick up an order? Well, never mind. Either way, you've come to the right place. My loving wife will attend to you inside. We run the business together. As well as beautiful, she's the best artisan in the city. Our work won't let you down. As for me, well, not to put on airs, but I'm very good with the forge too. I'm usually in charge of the tools. Give me some good materials and I'll make you an axe that can slice an anvil in half. Nice, okay. So, Petra is inside. Nice, who are you? I hate to admit, but Keen might be the best smith in the forge. He spends the whole day moaning and groaning, but his work is of the highest precision. And it seems effortless as well. Are you Keen? Keen! Bruce and I are polar opposites. Holman and Petra say that's what they like about us. But the guy drives me up the wall sometimes. His positivity is exhausting. No one can possibly be that happy moving boxes at 120 Fahrenheit. Damn. Hi. Finally here. What took you so long? I've been waiting for new materials for de- Hold up. You're not Rochelle. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my forge? Ah, uh, say no more. Yes, of course. You're the tavern gal. Sorry. When I'm working, I get so focused, I often forget everything else. The heat of the flames, the tapping of the hammer. This is paradise. Don't you think so? Soon. You'll get it soon. I'm Petra. Me and my husband run this shebang. Shebang? Shebang. Why did I say that? So weird. I'm guessing from your order, you're interested in learning the ways of the forge. Great choice. Soon you'll know how to hammer beauty from a sad little bar of metal. You have my word. Here you go. Ooh, we've got a table smelter and a pick. Uh, with this, you should have everything you need to begin. Smithing's no walk in the park, but you've come to the right place. With my help and Hal's, you'll soon work metal as if it were clay. Good luck, my friend. And sorry about earlier, the flames of the forge make us passionate and sometimes we get carried away. We may be fiery, but we are friendly. Anything you need, you can ask me or my beau. He's the stud working outside. He knows all there's to know about forging weapons and tools. And the way to a woman's heart. Nice. Okay. So, now let's head back to the tavern. We've got our goods. Let's go. Let's just have a little check that there's nothing here that we've missed. Anything cute? No. Okay, let's head back. I wonder if eventually we can talk to these guys or whether they're just there for show for the time being. That would be pretty cool. If you could get like traveling merchants um, to show up. My, I'm home. There you are, you took your time. I was starting to think you weren't coming back. All right then, do you have everything we need? Customers come to the tavern for delicious meals and drinks. How, a bit, how about a bit of grilled steak? Can you manage that? You know, pan seared, easy enough, right? Get to the oven and prepare a few dishes of grilled steak. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye to make sure they don't get overdone. I mean, you'll keep an eye to make sure you can eat them. Ooh, new recipe, grilled steak. In the oven, you can cook various dishes. As you've seen already with the rat skewers, some recipes can't be modified and you just need to have all the ingredients to make it. However, the other recipes, you can choose different ingredients with other recipes. Sorry, that's why it didn't make sense. You can choose different ingredients to create unique variations. In this case, we must prepare the grilled steak with beef. Okay, let's go. Let's make some steak. As you can see, you now have the grilled steak recipe. There are some recipes that are unmodifiable, so you'll have to do all you have to do is select them when you have enough ingredients in your inventory or in nearby chests. When you select recipes that do use modifiers, however, you have to choose which ingredients you'll add to them. Different ingredients will change the dish's value, so check them thoroughly before confirming to begin making the dish. To start with, let's make some grilled beef steak. Fire up the stove. 
Uh, fuel. Uh, I don't have any of those, so that's fine. I guess we'll just cook. Uh, okay, we can just cook one, and that makes 20. Okay, that's not too bad then. And now we wait. 500 years for it to cook. He's just waiting. Why is the music just gone deathly silent? Hello, music. Why did you stop? I don't know how long today's stream will be because my brain is getting overwhelmed from all of this information so it might be like a short stream to start with or a, a shorter one anyway um we'll see how we go but i'm already getting a little overwhelmed getting a little like ugh, dry mouth i guess I'm just, my brain is fed up of talking today um, because that's all I've done at work is talk to customers and things. So I'm just like, my brain's like, please, no more. Mouth, no more. Please stop. So we'll see how we get on um, for this first little bit anyway. <gasps> Collect the grill steak. Nice. Okay, I did eat. That's the food sorted. While it's getting done, we should start making our new beer. See that table with the sieve next to the oven? That's the malting machine. The first step is to malt the grain we're going to use. Approach it and select the malt recipe and then choose wheat to begin the process. Uh, this one? Malt. Yes. Uh, accept. That's it. Now we just have to let it settle. In the meantime, let's go outside. I want to show you something. Let's go. Yeah, this beginning bit, there's a lot of talking involved, so we'll see. We'll carry on for a little bit longer. Ah, fresh air. Like I was saying, the key to success when running a tavern is knowing how to manage your time and your products. We're, now we're preparing a few things, but when we open, customers will deplete our stock soon enough. Of course, you can go to the city for ingredients or anything you need, but if you want to maximise your profits, the best thing to do is to produce your own ingredients. Rhea and Leah will have given you a few seeds already, right? No time like the present to start working on your crop fields. Choose an area and make sure it's clear of weeds with the scythe. The last thing we need are more weeds creeping all over the crops. Once the area is clear, you can use the shovel to remove the grass and then till the soil with the hoe. If there's an obstacle in the way, try removing it with your new tools. I've been meaning to get around to it myself, but you know, I've been really busy these past few centuries. Okay, so we need the scythe. Where do I want to put my little field? I might, because I don't have sprinklers, I might do it over here because then we've got the water thing here available. So we'll plant it around here. I think. Uh, you don't know how to use this. Okay, I guess we can't get rid of that. Can I? Okay, we don't know how to do that yet, so... And what is it? Nine. So one, two, three. Oh no! Four. It's not going to be even, but oh well. One, two, three. Four. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. So does it count then for more? Uh, oh. Uh, that is my hoe, right? Oh, tilt. There, I wasn't stood in the right place, that's why. I was like, why can I not tilt the ground? Oh, 
Oh, no. Tilt. And that one. There we go. Hey, not too bad. With those twiggy arms of yours, I don't didn't think you had it in you, honestly. Now the hard part is over, you just need to water the soil before planting the seeds. Here, I had this watering can kept somewhere. Select it and press X to water the tilled soil. Once it's moist, select seeds to plant them. Got it! Uh, so that one and then that one and then we need to plant these so one two and three Ooh, these have poles I wasn't expecting that okay so we planted some bitter hops Planted the tea and then plant the wheat, which I can't because I don't have enough room. So let me do that and do that, do that and do this. Nice, there we go. Look at our little baby field. Well done, you can also grow fruit trees. They don't need planting in tilled soil nor watering. They won't even die once their season is over. They're a real marble. What a shame they're so hard to acquire. When you go to the city, ask Rhea about tree sprouts. She may be odd, but if there's one thing she enjoys even more than torturing her customers, it's to spend hours talking about fruit trees. Same difference, really. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up a bit in the back of my little notebook here that we've been using for fields of mystria and i'm gonna start from the back doing stuff for traveler's rest so they said talk to ria about fruit trees which we won't be able to get one yet because i'm guessing they're going to be like very expensive or really hard to get but at least it's like on our radar to remember that she's the gal to go to for fruit trees. Uh, plant the olive sprout. Oh, is that what that is? It's a tree. Growable during spring, summer, winter. Chance of extra harvest in summer. It takes 14 days to grow and can be harvested every four days. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's plant it here. Nice. Well, one less thing to worry about. Let's get back inside. See you in the tavern's crafting room. Has our malt malted yet? Is it done? Well, I could pick up those bottles then, but no. Yay, the malt's done! There you are, it's time to continue making drinks. Be warned, not everyone is cut out for the art of beer making. The subtle nuances, getting the consistency right. There are many details that could turn your drinks into the nectar of the gods or ruin them completely. It all depends on you. Let's do it. Well, at least you've got the right attitude. First of all, pick up the wheat malt. Remember we started preparing some earlier? Take it and use it in the fermentation tank, that thing that looks like a stone oven to the left. Okay, collect, uh, we put it in here, there's a whole world of drinks out there with which you could satisfy your customers but for now it's best you start with a basic lager. Once you have the ingredients it's a very similar process to making dishes, you just need to select the recipe, choose its ingredients and confirm to start making it. Go ahead. Uh, oh, fill a bucket with water from the well, okay. Uh, where is my empty bucket there? Empty bucket! Let's go get some water! Nice! And then craft our first beer. There we go. So... 
Alvin barley or wheat bitter or aroma hops, lager yeast and bucket with water. Let's do it. So we add that and we've only got bitter hops. So we'll do that. Done. Great job. We've almost got everything we need as well as food and drink. We'll need materials to fix up the tavern. I hope you're ready for some back breaking work, young lady. You've probably noticed, but all our work has used up the crafter's fuel supply. So we need to add more fuel to keep making things. We can hardly open the tavern to the public in its current state. It might hold some charm for some, but I suspect you'd rather attract customers with at least a couple of coins to rub together. Phew, we haven't even begun and we're already behind schedule. How about we go outside and get started? You got it, boss. Let's go. All right, first we need some wood planks and firewood. The planks you get by processing wood in a sawmill. Luckily, Woody will have given you one. To place it, you need an area free of obstacles. Use the scythe to clear any weeds and the ax to fell any trees in the way. Then place the sawmill to create a carpentry zone. Once you have it, you can place the stump with ax inside this new zone. Okay, I vaguely remember this from last time I played it with the different zones and things. Uh, I'm just going to do it down here so that it's kind of close to my tavern so I can access it quite easily. Uh, there we go. Get rid of all these weeds. Get out of here, stinky weeds. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if I do, but I don't think my character does pass out, but they might. We'll soon find out. Uh, sawmill here. So there, and... Uh, yeah, let's place it there, why not? And then place the stump with axe in the zone. Um, put it up in the corner. There we go, all done. Nice, now we need some wood to process. Use your axe to chop down some trees or move some wood obstacles. Once you have enough, approach the newly placed sawmill and stump to craft your materials. Nice, okay. Let's chop some trees. Nice, and I can just hold the button as well, which is neat. Nice, right, so we've got kindling, elm sprout, and wood. From that, what do we get from you? I like that it gets rid of the stump automatically as well. That's helpful. Rather than me having to like chop it down and then have to chop down the stump after. Give me that wood. much we need to craft five wood planks and five pieces of firewood so we'll see we'll keep chopping down some trees clear a little area right anyway Ooh, we got lava Ew. yeah gross Just dropping some trees. Nice, nice, nice. And I want to do this one just so that this little like row in this area is cleared. Neat. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I'll do these as well. Why not? And I've yet to have any warning about like, oh my god, go to bed, so can I just infinitely stay up? Maybe? Um, 
Ooh, can I get rid of this little one now that's down here? No, it's not ready yet. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping I could get rid of that tiny little stump there. Okay, so, open. And we need five, so. Oh, there we go. That does it. But I think, because I've got quite a few, I'll just fill the queue. Planks again. I've got quite a few bits of wood, so I'm just going to fill the queue. And now we wait. Excellent. Now we need some iron nails. Five pieces of iron ore should suffice. Use your pickaxe and mine them from the metal lo metal iodes. You see around. Just picture. Oh no, loads. Iodes, loads. The head of the guy that sold you the deed to the tavern. That is really loud in my ear. So we need fuel for the smelter. So while you're at it, mine some coal from the coal. Okay. Oh, that was really loud. Jeez. Okay. So we got some copper. It's coal. Nice. So we've got some coal. Uh, this is more copper, but I'm going to take it anyway. Because if it's going to be like it was when it first released, it replenishes every day anyway, so. Uh, now if you were an iron, where would you be? Is this more coal? Oh, that's iron. Okay, so it looks... Ever so slightly different from the coal, but not massively different by the looks. We're almost done. Just as with the carpentry zone, we have to establish a smithing zone. To do so, place the smelter in a free area and then the blacksmith table in the same. Like I said before, you'll need fuel to use them, so once they're placed, approach them and press Y. Once you add fuel of whatever type, you can begin crafting the bars. Okay, I want this though, please. Nice. Any others? Yes, there are. I think I put my carpentry thing a bit too in the centre. I think I want to hoof it over a bit so I can have the two zones like next to each other. That'll be helpful. But I don't know if I can move it while it's processing stuff. We'll have to see. Collect, collect, nice, okay. Uh, can I move you over here? To there. And then place the smelter. And the blacksmith table. Oh, my character's like yawning. I like saying they're tired. And place that there. And then it says to craft two iron bars. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Place. Uh, fuel. Uh, let's add the kindling, why not? There. Uh, open. Iron bar, nice. Okay. Uh, dude, I need to go to bed. Will you look at that burn? At this rate, we'll have some iron bars ready in no time. Until they're done, we cannot make iron nails. So in the meantime, you should place the stone workstation. Is all this really necessary? Of course it is. Running a tavern takes a lot more work than just standing behind a bar. If you think you can get your business to succeed selling rats with third-rate beer, good luck with that. Alright, I'll do as you say. That's what I like to hear. Now, clear an area, place the stone workstation already, and craft those iron nails on the blacksmith table with the iron bars you made. Okay, but first, I gotta go sleep. I sleepy. Look at that, I EP. Go, go, go. Again, I don't know if it has any ill effect, if I can pass out, or... I don't know, but just in case, we'll do it. 
we go. And let's make our bed. And hopefully that means all of the like ore things around should have replenished as well. Yes. Uh, let's get the pickaxe. Mine. Okay, and craft five nails at the table. So I need more bars, basically. Uh, that's copper. This is coal, but we'll still take it because it'll be useful. Take all of that. And then, ooh, this is a lot of copper. Did I dig this one up? I don't remember. It's literally only been like, not even a minute, and I can't remember if I dug this one up or not. Here was the iron. There we go. There we go. Uh, more iron, please. I think this is, yeah, I was going to say, I think this was coal anyway, but we'll still grab it. Coal is still useful. go copper can I no I thought I could have whatever was there so I'm gonna need more space for like a stone working place so let's do the stone working place like up here ish I can't forget I need to water my plants as well because it's a new day um, where is the stone stone workstation let me go and water my plants before I forget my crops <laughs> I just noticed look at that little arrow just there above my character's head that's sticking out <laughs> that's so cute I don't think by the looks of it, I need to refill my watering can. I might at some stage, but at the moment it's not telling me I need to. Um, okay, so I can't place it that close to that tree, but I can place it there. So we'll do that. And um, we still need to craft five iron nails. Oh, nope, I'm still in the thingy mode. Okay, so we need to add more fuel. So let's add... Wow, okay, coal is the best fuel. There we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so you've got plenty then. Um, plenty nail um, bars, anyway. And while we're here, let's chop down just a few trees. Just so we can get a little bit more wood and things. And then we won't chop down too many because that's what that little hint was saying, I think, was that if you have the trees, they drop like saplings and things. Um, to be fair, it's dropped a couple of saplings anyway, so we haven't got to be too, too cautious. But you don't want to deforest the area and then be like, oh no, we've run out of wood. chop a couple down here and I'm guessing because we're doing stone working we're gonna need some stone so will the game let me get some stone yet it will nice okay let's get some stone down here how are we doing nice they're all done 
So, let's put some fuel in here. And how many was it? Five. Oh, there we go. Sorted. I won't use all my iron bars and craft lots of nails because I don't know if I need them. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Our beer should be ready, so we'll head back inside. Meet you in the crafting room. Okay, let's see. It's ready! Boo! Ha! You should see your face. Never gets old. Okay, now seriously, it's the moment of truth. The beers we started crafting should be ready now. Approach the fermentation tank and pick up the beers if you haven't done so already. Though I should warn you that alcoholic beverages can't be served fresh out the tank. Any drink with alcohol you craft needs to be aged before you can serve it to customers. Aging drinks doesn't strengthen their flavour and aroma, it raises, doesn't just strengthen it, it raises their value too. There are different stages of ageing, so the longer you wait the better the drink will turn out. The good news is it's pretty simple, all you have to do is go to the cellar and add the drinks to the ageing barrels. Yes, the same ones you got the foul smelling beers from. Let's go down and remember to bring the beers you're going to age. Nice, okay. Some recipes, like with cheese or uh, oh cheese, we can age cheese. Uh, with cheese and alcohol, require aging before they can be sold. An item that needs to be aged will be marked as unaged and cannot be sold. The new to age newly crafted beers, go to the cellar and open one of the aging barrels with Y. Each barrel can store up to thirty beers of the same type. Once you have once the beers have been added, you just have to wait. Beers have four stages of aging, from unaged to grand reserve, and each stage increases the price by 10%. Damn. Nice, so we've got lager, unaged. Alright, you have the beers with you, right? Now, you just need to approach the aging barrels, interact with them, add the beers you want to age, and the process will begin on its own. Open, add all the beers, please. There we go. That's it. Now it's just a matter of time. While the beers are aging, we should put together more materials to repair the tavern. You can take care of that at least. You should know everything you need to know, but now to get everything we need. Take this list and craft everything on it. Once you do, come see me again and we can begin. Okay. Ooh, five polished stones. Hmm. Some arresting. Oh, there we go. So it's registered that we've got 15 wood planks. Let's just make... Let's make a couple more. Oh, I forgot how loud that thing was. Um, yeah, let's do some firewood as well, why not? And let's mine some stone. Nice. So how many polished stone? Five. Two, four, six. There we go. And we need ten, so there, that should do it. Okay. Uh, there's some more copper here. Nice. Okay, what is up here? Can I go up here? No. Perhaps tomorrow I should head back inside now. Why? Why should you head back inside now? Oh, why though? Pourquoi? I don't even know if that's the correct what I just said, but hey, we will roll with it. Uh, what I am going to do is I just want to fill my bucket up with water and I want to add more drinky drinks to here. I want to add more water to here because we used some. Uh, open. Oh, I can't. I can only take water out. Okay, that's fine. Well, I've got a bucket of water on me anyway, so I'm sure we'll need it for other stuff. Nice, and this is done. This is done. That's done. And that's done. 
What, do you have it already? Wow, you're efficient. Very good. Let's not waste any more time. Ready to begin rebuilding? Oh, okay, that's the spirit. I hope you haven't made any plans, Missy, because this will take a while. Oh dear. Oh, wow, we did that with five polished stones. And we found 80 new recipes, apparently. Phew, I'm exhausted, but looks like we're done. It's been ages since I've seen the tavern look so immaculate. It's wonderful. We've done an amazing job. Listen, I admit, I had you all wrong. You're not so bad after all. Anyway, enough chit chat. We're almost ready to open. A few more details and you'll be an official tavern keeper. Before anything else, we should harvest the crops. Remember those crops you planted a few days ago? Go back there and pick them, why don't you? Shouldn't give you any trouble. Just approach a ready crop and use A. Though, now I think of it, not all crops are harvested that way. Wheat and other grain need to be harvested with the scythe. Ah, don't worry about that. Collect the crops and just enjoy yourself. There's nothing more satisfying than reaping the fruits of one's labour. Nice. Ooh, higher staff calendar orders. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, wow, okay. Um, so, let's harvest those oh i thought because they were on like sticks they would reproduce but i guess not and let's harvest the wheat nice perfect we can make a lot of things with that i'm sure you've noticed that some crops died once you harvest them or others remain some crops yield multiple harvests while they're alive you just need to make sure you water them every three days to keep the soil moist Oh look, the poor tea crops are almost completely dry. How about you water them again to revive them? Remember that dry crops stop growing and yielding. Okay, so I don't need to water them every day, but I will forget. So I will have to water them every day. There we go. Much better. Still, crops don't die if you don't water them. They just stop growing. Crops only die if the season changes. They can't be grown in a new season. When that happens, the plant will wither and you'll have to use the scythe to free its spot. Do you follow? Yes. I think that's all. Moment of truth. Let's see what the beer of ours is like after aging. Meet you in the cellar. Neat. Let's go. Ooh, I got a chest. <gasps> wow, it looks so nice in here. Can I put my other table in? Am I jumping the gun? I feel like I'm jumping the gun a bit. I won't put it out just yet. Wow, look at this. This is so cozy. Oh, my bed. Look at my bed. Oh, no. Don't sleep. I got too excited and jumped into the bed. The beer you made has reached the maximum level of aging, and we now have Grand Reserve beer to serve to our new customers. Brilliant. Don't celebrate just yet. Aged or not, bad beer is still bad beer. I'm not about to let you serve any old thing, so we should taste it first. Gods have mercy on my soul. Beloved parents, soon we shall reunite. Farewell, Missy. Remember me as I lived beautiful and pure of heart. My gods, this is... this is... delicious. You like? Yes, it's all right, I suppose. You've passed. We're ready to open. How is it possible, that girl? Let's go. No time to lose. Okay. Get all my beer and let's go. Hey, up oh, here I am again. The time has come to open the tavern. The first thing you must do is prepare your products and the dishes you wish to, wish to serve on the menu and the beers you crafted to one of the taps. Okay, so let's put this one here. And because it's a grand reserve, I want to give it a little orange thing to match. That's it. You remember how to open the tavern, right? You just have to press down for customers to start showing up. Go ahead, do the honours and let's keep our fingers crossed. Nice, but don't I have some stick to add to the menu? There we go. Ah, uh, open. Now we wait. 
for our first customer. Anybody? Oh, <gasps> a customer! Look, our first customer. All right, all right, nobody panic. This is different from when we practiced earlier with the rat skewers. See the bar over the action bar? That's the tavern's reputation. When a customer leaves the tavern, the tavern's reputation will rise or fall according to the service they were given. Things like attending them quickly, keeping the tavern clean and decorating the dining room will increase reputation, forcing everyone out at closing time or letting the tavern get too cold or the tables too dark will decrease the reputation. Well, let's not waste another minute. Serve some customers and let's see how it goes. Now you're dealing with real customers. Remember everything you've learned to give them the best service possible. Pay attention to their orders to serve them quickly, be it at the bar or at their tables. Also, keep in mind that the floor and tables will get dirty over time. You must see to the cleanliness of your tavern if you wish to gain reputation. If you're left with any questions, you can always check the encyclopedia in the pause menu. Okay, uh, can I not add fuel to my fire? Oh, the, the like ambient sign they've done is weird. Okay, I can do that part way through, so. Oh, I did two drinks and nobody needs two drinks. It's fine. Uh, what was it? Right bumper? B? Let's see if I can place these or if it'll tell, like, if it'll think it's too soon. Okay, we have to close the tavern first, that's fine. Just the water for you, sir? Of course. Oh, the table, sorry. Oh, nope. Get away! Shoo, be gone. Don't want your kind here. Okay, we need to clean two floor stains and serve ten customers. Uh, you are speaking to the barkeep and the barkeep tells you to piss off. <laughs> One water for you, madame. A steak, yes. Fine choice. Nice, we just need to clean two floor stains and then we're good. Observe. Three silver and 88 uh, bronze for that damn. I'm cleaning. I'm doing it. He wants a beer. Yes, sir. The finest in all the land for you. And for you. Here you are. And another beer. There you are, madame. There we go. So I think down at the bottom where like my tools are, that was the little bar that it was talking about. Like this one down here. Imagine that the barkeep just stands behind you like, can I help with anything? <laughs> just like that. Uh, yes, I'm coming to clean. I'm cleaning. I'm doing it. I see that you want water as well, sir. I'm on it. Be gone. I have no riffraff in here. And for you. There we go. So, okay, so we're on 12, half 12. So, yeah, we can stay open for a little bit longer. Keep going. steak for you a steak for you as well 
Well, they're not going to lie, that steak does look kind of nice, to be fair. It does look kind of tasty. Oh, the table. Must clean. Serve and take you. There you go. Yeah, I can't add anything to there. Oh, I have just a just a little area there. One beer coming up. There you go. Um, one for you, of course. There we go. I think this area is for when I get staff. I can place the drinks on there for them, or whoever's like behind the bar can place it on there, and then like them and me can pick it up. Nice, a floor stain. Yes. Neat. Goodness, what a strong breeze. See the icon in the lower right part of the screen? That means customers are feeling cold. And with that will decrease reputation. When that happens, you should light the fireplace to raise the temperature. Also, the fireplace will consume fuel, so make sure you have enough to keep it lit as long as you need to. If the temperature rises and it's still lit, com customers will feel too hot, which isn't good either. Come on, light it before the customers freeze to death. Uh, where? Oh, down the bottom there. I see it. I see it now. No! Uh, two waters? Much better. Now, service can continue as normal. Remember, if you run out of food or drink, you can make some more with the ingredients you've obtained. I'm afraid I can't help you right there. I've always been more of a hunter than a cook. But perhaps this old recipe book can help you. I'm sure you'll find some useful recipes within. If you need more ingredients or you want to decorate the tavern some more, you can go to the city to get whatever you need. Now you've got some money coming in. Anything is possible. That's all for now, little bird. Time to spread your wings. Make sure you always have meals prepared and give the best service you can. If you manage both, you'll raise the tavern's reputation in no time. Oh, I don't want you to leave, though. I want you to stay and hold my hand. This is scary. And then one for you. Do some water. Oh, there you go. Uh, sir, can you calm down, please? Thank you. Some more water. Yes, there you go. I don't know how many customers it's going to take to update my reputation. Because if they do about 42 each time, I don't know how much that hoofs my bar up, to be honest. Um, but we've got 11 there. And we've only got five steaks left. So... Maybe we'll go to we've sold out of steaks and then we'll shut the tavern. A beer coming up. There you go. I don't know what it is about this floor that they've like put in here, but to me it looks dirty. And I don't know whether that's like the lighting or what, but it just looks dirty in my eyes. And I'm like, eh. Oh, water. Here you go, sir. Let me clean that table for you. Yes, madam. What can I get you? A steak. Um, sir, pipe down. Get out then. Be gone. Thank you. Two more steaks and some water. There we go. So we've got two steaks left. So we'll wait to sell those out and then we'll do last orders. Uh, you want water as well, huh? Okay, a water for you. And our water for you. How's everyone doing? Where you going? Going anywhere nice? <gasps> a beer, yes. Oh, wait, let me clean your table first. There you go. 
one beer. Sir, come back. Neat. And then once we close, we'll add in some more of those decorations that we've got as well. Nice, thanks for your visit. Come again, tell your friends. steak for you of course who will be the winner of our final steak that is the question is it gonna be you sir <gasps> what a lucky day for you sir the final steak okay and um, we'll do last orders sorry you know you only just got here with your steak but take your time don't rush Yeah, no, I said don't rush, but people hurry up now, please. <laughs> I would like to decorate my tavern. Ooh, nice! New milestone, reputation reward 1. So we got a skill point and recipe fragments 10. Ooh. Interesting. Hey, is that new tavern? Is It's that new tavern keep I've been hearing all about. Haha, <laughs> did you see your customers' faces? I can't remember the last time someone walked out that door looking satisfied. You've impressed me, Missy. I've been around town and people are already singing our praises. Anyway, I'm glad things are going well. Who knows, perhaps you'll be able to turn this tavern's luck around. Of course, you did have a great teacher. Very true. Thank you for everything, Mai. Oh shush, you're going to make me blush. By the way, you never told me why you decided to buy this tavern. I'm going to go up against the Fellowship of the Tavern Keepers. Okay, I deserve that. No, really, why a tavern? I told you, I'm going to defeat the Fellowship. Listen, you do understand what you're saying. Members of the Fellowship have been perfecting their skills for years. A rookie like you doesn't stand a chance. Besides, fame and glory aren't good reasons to get into this business, young lady. Do you want to be yet another power-hungry, big-headed idiot? Rygar's teachings have been warped enough. That's not it. I want to help the people and make a difference. This girl, she reminds me so much of him. Alright, follow me. Where are we going? A special place. You'll see once we get there. Uh, but my, my fire's still lit and it's using fuel. Here it is. Oh, this brings me back. This old slab. It's not a slab, you simpleton. It's a door. A door that's been sealed for a long, long time. The only thing you need to open it is the right key. And where is the key? Right in front of you. Step aside. I need a moment. Wow. The path is clear. Time for your last test. But what's inside there? You'll have to see for yourself. If what you told me is true, this will help you achieve your goals. If it isn't, then you're not worthy. Well, it's been nice knowing you. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. At the back of the cave, you'll find a portal. Cross it and let instinct guide you forth. Oh, okay. Wait, that said collect. Nice. Ooh, creepy. Oh, this. Okay, this makes sense now that I've got context for it. Before, this was just like a place I could go to and get things, but I didn't get why or anything. Raise your glasses, custodians of ancient legacy, for knowledge recorded will never fade from memory. Light the fire. Unlock your first recipe. Yes! Okay, we don't have... Oh, we have ten. So we can do onion rings and salad. Yeah, I could just come here to buy recipes, but there was no context for why I could buy recipes from, like, a mystical flame, so... It's nice to have the context now. Okay, nice. Are there anything else around here? Ooh, there's some ore by the looks of it. A little bit of iron. <gasps> can we fish eventually? That would be neat. 
And just some stone. Nice, but we'll take some stone anyway. Uh, there's the entrance. Yeah, I did it. You're back, and in one piece. I knew from the moment I met you that you had it in you. But you wanted me to leave. That's just a test, of course. And you passed. No one else has been able to light Rygar's torch in centuries. Perhaps you do stand a chance after all. So I'll be able to defeat the Fellowship? Well, it's still too early to tell. Perhaps with the help of a beautiful, experienced bogger, you might. What? You want me to stay with you and be your mentor? I'm not sure, Missy. You know how busy I am. You don't have to. If you have other things to do, you can. No, please stay. All right, all right, you can stop begging. I know you'd be completely lost without me. Back to work. Let's return to the tavern and see how you manage on your own. Nice. Uh, question. Where are we, though? I don't know, but there are lots of things to collect. I like it. Oh, are we just up from the tavern, I think? Some miners. Hi. Weather's improved, but Pharaoh is still there, frozen like a popsicle. The same. I have this thing that the fairy thing does not affect me. Well, they're wrong, you know? Okay, so those are all watered, so they're fine. Ah, it's good to be back. The tavern really does look incredible. That said, if you want to change the fellowship challenge, the fellowship of tavern keepers will need to raise our reputation to get their attention. I've given you some tips, but the rest is up to you. I'll try and see what I can find out about the current members of the fellowship. In the meantime, keep doing what, you, what you've what you learned. Got it? Yes, my. All right, then. Let's hope the tavern is still standing when I get back. Try not to make too much of a mess of things, rookie. You'll do great, Missy. You're my last hope. Okay. Nice. So, now can I... Yes, I can. And I want this one. We need to a thing in between so there and we put all one bench and two benches and then we need some candles uh, we've also got this a workbench we've got some coasters we've got a rug uh, candle holder. Let's put this down as well. <gasps> Wait, why am I picking a cat? Oh, they're all so cute. I don't know which one I want. I kind of want this one. Let me go for that one. Oh, a kitty! Uh, should we have this as like the entryway rug when you like come in? Maybe. Stop that there. Um, let's put candle holder there. And can I place one on the bar? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh no, I can't. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in that case, then. It says left trigger, right trigger for next item, but nothing's happening. Uh, oh, there we go. How do I... I no longer wish to place this one, please. Oh no, I'm like stuck. I think I have to place it. Uh, can I like place it in the corner then? There we go. Okay. There. Okay. Uh, place you there. I take it. I can't place a candle there, so that's fine. Uh, oh wait, I can. Maybe I just couldn't before because I was being silly. Who knows? Um, anyway. I don't know what I did to- there. Okay, why? Got it. 
Oh, learning ever so slowly. Uh, let's place these coasters. And I also want to put this down somewhere. Um, okay, coasters. Okay, so I can only style them one of two ways. So let's do one. Let's do like kind of opposites. Like that. Yes. Oh no, don't move that. Brain likey this so far. No, brain don't like you that. I think that's round. Nope, that's square again. That's square too. There, okay. Uh, so you need to be there. You need to be down here. And then you need to be... Neat, okay. Uh, this workbench, do I put it outside? I don't know if, I'm assuming I can have it inside, but. Oh, it has to go in like an area. Okay. I guess I'll put it there. Wooden jug, okay. A small bench. We can do bucket, a decorative shield, we can do some stools as well, a small table, individual table, wow, okay. So many things to craft. <gasps> a bed to kitty, a cat has wandered into the tavern, I guess it lives here now. You can buy a bed and water bowl to make it happy. Oh, kitty. I don't know where I buy your stuff from, so you're gonna have to wait for now. But let's put out the fire and let's go to bed. Sleep. And then I think we'll save. And actually, that's about the time that I normally stream for, so that's not too bad. Um, and then we'll continue from there. So, uh, I think it saved when I slept. I guess we'll find out whether that saved or not. Um, who knows? But anyway, um, thank you everyone that came to hang out and watch this cozy stream. I'll be continuing. Fields of Mystery will be on Fridays and Traveller's Rest will be on Tuesdays. And we'll kind of alternate those two until I get to like a good little place with them again. And then we'll throw some more games in, mix it all up again. Um, but for now, we'll stick with kind of these two for the little time being. Um, if you've got any tips, uh, tricks and that, please do let me know. But um, yeah, there's so I forgot how much there was to learn in Traveller's Rest. And since they've added more in, it's just become even wilder. Um, but hopefully we'll get there. We'll take it all in slowly but surely. Have the best tavern, defeat the fellowship and we'll get there soon. But yeah, thanks for coming to hang out. If you want to see any episodes of Fields of Mystery before then and Traveller's Rest, I'm slowly uploading them all to YouTube as well. So you can catch them all there as well. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming to hang out and take care out there, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.